Hey YouTube, it's Roy. I'm a UI designer based in the UK and today we are on to part two of the design agency website. Shift I, click on card. Oh, and it brought it in there. We just want to take it out. We're going to need a, an icon. We're going to need a testimonial. So, and if I hide that, and if I hide that, we now have a testimonial. We want each of these items to fill container and text the line in the middle. So let's just very quickly resize that. And we want them to be in the middle. Next thing to do is we need to put this into a container. So shift A, we call that container. Do a, another one, so shift A, and that is a section. So we get rid of the spacing on there and there. We say fix width 1440. We're going to fill that with white. We're going to line it in the middle. Great. And this time we're just going to fill that with D D D D D D D. And that container, we're going to control the spacing. So let's say 140, 140. Nice. And here we can we can decide on the width. You can see it's not fluid. So we have to go to the card and fill container. So now, again, if you're playing around with, with the measure of this, we can make it one line. There we go. The next section is features you'll love. We got a card here, so we're going to reuse that. So if we go to card and if we just duplicate that, let's bring that out. But we want everything to be left aligned. So if to select these two text items and say left align. And then we can fill that with Let's say we fill that with white and the spacing around everything is 40. Okay, so we've got a very nice small testimonial card. And the next thing to do is get these three columns. So we're going to do shift I, click on card, and it put it in there for some reason. And what we're going to do is we're just going to delete that and delete that and delete the small text we're going to say feature one and here we're just going to generate some text so one sentence and then we are going to command D that card twice so one two we're going to select all we're going to shift a and we're going to say spacing between these is 40. We're going to combine these two. So let's see if it goes absolutely nuts. So we are going to select both. We're going to do shift A. We're going to say spacing between is 40. And we're going to call that container. Oop, too many E's in there. Uh, we need, and then the next thing is a section. So shift A section and that we need a fixed width of 1440 and then the container we need it to fill and then we need each of these items to also fill container great so if i was to do that we can see it's nice and fluid and the section we just need to remove the spacing and then the container, we can control the spacing, let's say 40, 100, 40 and 100. And let's fill that with white, so we can't see the card anymore. But we can make this E, 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 E. And we can make that white. Okay, so the only other thing we need to do with here is probably put in a heading. And the heading features you love okay so these two will need to put in its own again so shift a 
uh, we're going to say fill and just check that each of these we have to fill again and then we're going to hit the T tool we're just going to click in here we're going to just say features Ooh. features we're going to zoom in we're going to make this nice and large and we're just going to put this above there we're going to make it vertically stack and spacing let's say let's say a hundred okay we can try it this way oh no maybe not zero so we're just changing the order we're going to go up and we're going to say field container text a line in the middle and now the spacing between these let's say around a hundred and we need it to hug contents and then this one ooh let's have a look so why are these okay so we need that to also hug contents okay great so these two or well, this one here we need it to fill container next one we got membership benefits okay so membership benefits is very similar to this so we're just going to duplicate that and we are going to just go into these we're going to say left aligned we want each of these to be left aligned we're going to delete these ones we're going to reuse this card so command D command D and then we command D that whole frame and we also select here and we can make this into an auto layout because there's so many ways of doing this and we can do shift A we say fill container we make this go in the middle we get rid of the spacing there and we can say spacing below is a hundred but actually this bit here we don't actually need the title like that we actually want one of these cards so I'm going to command D and I'm just going to delete and delete and then here we actually need the button so we very quickly replicated something very similar to this icon heading text button if you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. We're actually going to reuse this one, Command D. And just to check again, we got a heading and a paragraph. Okay, so here we're just going to delete that. Delete that. We want everything to center a line. And then these two we want them to center a line so here we can say pricing and here we don't need the icon so delete that and we say design and here we actually need the button and let me just check again heading takes button and then price okay so we can get the small text there let's zoom in and we actually want that to be larger this is the nice thing about textiles now you can change it and we just put in a rough number of 2000 and then with this one delete that we are going to say the heading is what's included and it's list items so what's included then in here you just say item one and let's make that smaller let's say extra large nice so okay yeah that's pretty good but we're going to do this slightly different so delete that delete that 
we're going to get this card because we're going to combine these two copy that and we're going to bring it into that frame but now we want this frame to be vertical Ooh. so let me delete that we want to select this whole frame and we actually want to make it vertical and then we say hug contents we want the container and the section okay so let me just check again so this is hug and that is hug and let me just check the cards is also hug we want fill and we want that to be fill and hug okay there we go so now we got these are the two are combined and what we're going to do is let's say we fill these white but hmm, let's have a thing can we have a space in between a one hmm okay we actually don't want the whole frame to be white we want each card to be white there we go and now you've got that nice one pixel gap and we want each card to have a spacing of let's say 40 and 40 very nice so now we've got a nice frame there and we are going to then <laughs> let's see if this goes crazy we're going to do shift a and we want things to be horizontal we get rid of that and that and then in there we are going to say we want to repeat this so command d boom and we want each of these to fill container and we want this one to also fill container so now we created the cards and i think that is pretty cool now let's say I want to space in between those of one pixels. Very nice. This one is going to be design and web flow. The pricing is around that much. And let's see if this is fluid. Great. A call to action and then the footer. So the call to action is very is exactly the same as the hero. So you just have to reuse a so command D, bring that all the way down. And what we do here is we're going to just say, we can also hide that text as well. This is very similar to the nav. So the nav, we're just gonna command D we're going to bring that right down all the way down here and we are going to go in we're going to convert this into an auto layout so shift a and we just get rid of all the spacing there and there in here we just command D we want this to be vertical and here we're going to say based in London, England. Actually, let's have spacing between these of eight. And let's make this one, we want that to be small. Okay, cool. And then this one here, we are going to stack that spacing between, let's say 16. We're going to command D that but these two we want to also shift a space between those is let's say 40 and then we're just going to put in all our items so we say projects pricing we don't have that many to be honest projects and pricing so i think with this one we can be more generous with the spacing i would say 100 and 100 so now we You've got to the end and this video is getting pretty long so what i'm going to do for the next part 
we are going to do variants of each of these sections. So you're going to have a different layout for the nav, a different layout for the hero. Just to wrap this up, we are going to select all of these. Command D, shift and drag it over because we got a reference. And then we can do shift A, no space in between them. And now if we go in, you can see we combine all the section and now we got a very nice design agency website and this is a one page a one page website and the nice thing about this way of working is you can change the order you can just tab up or up arrow and change the order what I like to do is to change the colors so here I'm gonna say we need that to be white well actually we want the testimonial section to be next. So it kind of got white, gray, white, gray. Now this is not white. So I think that's okay because these are white and then you've got a white section here. This one, we're actually gonna make this dark. So let's go like this and then we go to the container and let's say we want that to be white. So hopefully this will make all the text white. There we go. Very nice and clean indeed. Okay, so if you found this video useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.